Hi guys. So just like job costing and process costing are costing techniques to cost products and value inventory, standard costing can also be used to cost products and value inventory. So what is standard costing? So I'd like you to think of a company that makes cars. So a car making company. And the cars are made on production lines. So it passes on a conveyor belt and then along the line they add the wheels, the windscreen, the doors are added. Um, and along the line there's people standing there that, that has to operate certain machines and to attach the, the screws and the rivets, etc. Now, this is a repetitive process. So the, there might be a hundred cars that pass through this whole process and pass through each of the points where different components are added to the product and where time is spent um, by the, the workers in the factory. Now since it's a repetitive process um, and all the cars look the same, we would assume that each car would cost the same to make. And um, so there's also a, a fixed relationship between the inputs and the outputs. So what does that mean? So what are the inputs? So the inputs might be uh, four wheels for one car, or it might be 2,000 screws, or say nuts and bolts is the input, and then one car comes out of that. So standard costing, um, if the word standard costing is almost like a target cost. So how much it should cost. So how much should it cost us to make one car under efficient operating conditions? So what is efficient operating conditions? That is the the operations or the if the operations run smoothly as they're supposed to run, if there's no unforeseen circumstances like a power shortage or um, anything funny that happens that's not supposed to happen. So under efficient operating conditions, the target cost or the standard cost is how much it should cost us to make one car. And standard costing is then used, this should cost is used for budgeting so when we prepare a budget, we'll say if we make 100 cars and it should cost us uh, 50,000 to make a car, we can multiply the 50 times the 50,000 times 100 and that is our budgeted cost. And it could also then be used for cost control. So how can we use it for cost control? Well, if we know it should cost us 50,000 to make a car and it actually costs us 52,000, then we know something is wrong and we need to fix it.